what's up? First of all, thank you for support. And today, we're going to be doing the unboxing and review of Mac Mini M1. I'm going to divide in this video into six sections about the M1 chip, why I bought this, the unboxing, about the Mac Mini, the performance, and the conclusion. So let's get started. Hi, friends. Welcome. Hello there. How are you doing? Welcome. Hey, what's up? First of all, thank you for support. About the M1 chip. This is Apple's first silicon processor, which has got 8 cores of CPU, 4 efficiency and 4 performance cores, 8 cores of GPU, 16 cores of neural engine and DRAM. All these parts are fit into a small 5 nanometer chip and this is called a SOC, System Honor Chip. As all these parts communicate with each other very quickly, even the apps open up very quickly. As of now, this chip is available in the 2020 MacBook Pro, 2020 MacBook Air, the M1 Mac Mini, the M1 iMac 24 inch and the 2021 iPad Pro. As the RAM is inbuilt, it can't be upgraded by the user. You have to make a configuration while purchasing itself. Number 2. Why I have bought this Mac Mini? Actually, this was my birthday gift. Anyways. I use the Mac mostly only for editing, which my old Mac, which was the MacBook Air 2017, was able to do. But now, I'm upgrading the quality from 1080 to 4K, which the 2070 MacBook Air can't handle. And hence, I had to upgrade it to a better machine, which is this Mac Mini M1 2020. In fact, I had a small confusion while buying, whether to buy the Mac Mini M1 or the iMac 24 inch. I'll be making on it soon, so stay tuned for that. Now, before we talk about the Mac Mini, let's take a quick look at what comes inside the box. Number three, now let's talk about the Mac Mini. The Mac Mini is one of the brand new Macs which comes with the M1 chip. It has got two RAM options, the eight gigs of RAM and 16 gigs of RAM, and then four storage options, 256 gig of SSD, 512 gigs of SSD, one terabyte SSD, and two terabyte SSD. Also, there's an other variant available for 10 gigs ethernet as well. The base model of the Mac Mini costs Rs. 64,900, which gives 8 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of SSD. Whereas the complete spec.1 costs Rs. 174,900, which gives 16 gigs of RAM, 2 terabyte SSD, and the 10 gig Ethernet as well. The one I have now has got 16 gigs of RAM, 
one terabyte of SSD and costs rupees one lakh twenty four thousand nine hundred. The Mac Mini's build quality is quite sturdy as it has got a complete aluminium body with its glossy Apple logo on the top. It has even got a small LED light up front and all the ports situated in the back, which gives it a clean and a sleek look. And it has got a fan as well, unlike the MacBook Air. And the fans are not that quite loud as the MacBook Pro either. They are damn silent. I couldn't hear them that much until unless I went very close to it while editing. One thing I wish the Mac Mini had was a space grey color. I don't like this silver color as much as I do my space grey iPad. If you haven't seen that video yet, I will link it down in the description. This I/O is the best among all the MacBooks and the iMac 24-inch. It has got two Thunderbolt 4 ports, two USB A ports, one HDMI 2.0 port, and then a lovely 3.5 mm jack. It has also got inbuilt speakers, but not an inbuilt mic. I wouldn't say that the inbuilt speakers are that good. I would still suggest you to buy an external pair of speakers if you're doing editing or music production. Talking about the external speakers, the Mac Mini doesn't come with any peripherals. It is just the brain of the whole machine. So I'll be talking about the peripherals in my next video. The main category, the performance of the Mac Mini M1. This is the cheapest Mac in the Mac lineup, but doesn't give up on performance. I ran Geekbench on it, and then it got a whopping 1752 in single core, which bet all the past Intel ones. And in multi-core, it placed right below the 2019 Mac Pro. This doesn't give up on performance at all. Well, that's only on paper. Let's really see how well does it perform in real life. As I said, the one main thing I use this Mac for is video editing. Well, this Mac Mini is able to handle all the 4K footage buttery smooth until I add some fusion magic in there. Once that's added, Mac Mini starts stuttering. Well, it doesn't like crash or anything. It just drops a few frames here and there. I can take that. Considering the performance over the price range, I would say that Apple has done a great job in making this Mac Mini performance heavy and cost efficient. So in conclusion, I would say that if you're looking for a desktop under 70,000 and if you have all the peripherals already, you can surely go for the Mac Mini M1. You will not regret this choice at all. Thank you all for staying till the end of the video with me. If you found this video useful and interesting, please don't forget to give it a like. If you have any feedback, please comment down. And if you want, you can just share it to your friends who would find it useful. And if you don't want to miss any of the new videos, don't forget to post notifications after subscribing. See you all next time. Bye.